Quite a nice easy way of um, testing to see if your signal generator is actually accurate. If you haven't got a a known calibrated uh, signal signal uh, frequency counter, but the easier way to do it is to uh, use the radio for long wave transmitter that's transmitting on 198 kilohertz. This is a high precision standard transmission um, uh, and is uh, you know, absolutely spot on. So what you can do is you can use the beat effect of the uh, two signals together to, to see how accurate your uh, your source is. Um, you can hear Radio 4 in the background now. What I'm going to do with this Marconi is going to uh, generate my, my own 198 kilohertz signal at a very low level of about oh, 20 millivolts to start off with. You can hear the radio has gone quiet already. And you can hear, I don't know if you can hear in the background, a slight phasing effect. And that phasing frequency, that beat, is the the beat frequency between the the standard and the signal generator. And you can hear it's very clear with this noise in the background, but it's very low frequency. Let me, let me shift the frequency slightly. So, um, let's see. Ah, oh, come on. So that's say that's 198.1 kilohertz. Near the beat, and that's 107.9 kilohertz. So either side, if you listen. So you can hear that that signal generator is spot on. You're getting the same amount of frequency shift either side from 198 kilohertz. And there. So it's quite a useful way uh, of knowing that the uh, the um, the generator is producing a good output. This is what it's showing on the Marconi. Actually, this this uh, signal generator uh, frequency counter hasn't actually fully warmed up yet. It's got an oven standard, but you can see it's very close to. Smack on 198 kilohertz. Um, just out of interest, we'll try it on the uh, the uh, HP signal generator. Um, it hasn't been on, but the oven has been up, so it should be uh, ready to go. So we'll do the same thing with the uh, English legal history for a manslaughter case. Turn the Marconi the off. That so frequency 198 kilohertz. Okay, we've got modulation, so we need to turn the modulation off. Uh, modulation is off. Okay, we've totally wiped the radio out because we've got too much signal going in, so we need to reduce the amplitude to, say, 20 millivolts. There you go. You can just about hear it in the background. I'm going to reduce it further. Um, And then again, you can hear the beat. I don't know if you can hear that. I'll shift the frequency. Um, same thing. So there you go. You can you can hear that those two generators are running nigh on smack on frequency. Um, so that might be useful. I don't know if, if anyone. I mean, usually these fairly elaborate. Uh, um, Signal generators don't need any sort of calibration, they usually stay fairly accurate. And for this, the sort of stuff I'm using, it's not that critical to this point anyway. But certainly, some of the old sort of like valve um, signal generators, possibly like my uh, AVO signal generator or some of the cheaper valve or advanced um, RF signal generators, this is a really useful um, test just to see how, how accurate it is. Um, but uh, yeah. Thought it might be an interesting. Thanks for watching.